In the world of sports ownership, few prizes compare to the New York Yankees, with a staggering valuation of over $7 billion. This legendary baseball club commands a mystique that spans the globe. In this unique ecosystem, outsiders are rarely welcomed, making the tale of Steve Swindle's rise and fall a saga of epic proportions that would eventually make Hal Steinbrenner majority owner of the New York Yankees. In January 1973, George M. Steinbrenner III acquired the New York Yankees from CBS for a mere $8.8 million. This marked the genesis of a transformation that would redefine the sports ownership landscape. Steinbrenner's relentless pursuit of victory altered the team's trajectory, leading to a series of championships and the birth of the Yankees' modern dynasty. Steve Swindle's journey to the pinnacle of the Yankees' hierarchy was nothing short of extraordinary. A chance encounter in Tampa introduced him to Jennifer Steinbrenner, George's daughter. What began as a tentative courtship turned into a deep connection. Swindle's work ethic and quiet resolve endeared him to George, propelling him from a furniture salesman to a vital player in the Steinbrenner empire. As George Steinbrenner contemplated his legacy, it was Swindle who emerged as a natural choice to inherit the throne. Swindle's influence extended beyond mere titles. He became a trusted confidant, navigating the turbulent waters of Yankees politics and bridging divides within the organization. In a faithful twist of events, Steve Swindle's world unraveled after a DUI arrest in 2007. At the hype of TMZ, this scandalous incident not only tarnished the Yankees' reputation, but also severed Swindle's ties to the family business. Jennifer Steinbrenner would soon file for divorce, marking the end of an era, signaling Swindle's expulsion from the inner circle. Despite the catastrophic derailment of his Yankees' aspirations, Swindle found solace in resurrecting his career within the baseball community. His player academy in the Dominican Republic has aided aspiring talents in securing contracts with Major League Baseball organizations. Steve Swindle's story should be another reminder of why you shouldn't drink and drive. George's relationship with his children was complex. While he neutered their individual interests, the weight of the Yankees' legacy loomed large. The notion of succession planning was a source of great turmoil for George. The idea of anyone outside of the Steinbrenner family at the helm of the Yankees seemed unfathomable. This wasn't the only time George was looking for his replacement. In 1990, when George was temporarily banned from baseball, he looked to one of his sons hoping one would carry the mantle. Hank was nominated to be the immediate successor, but he declined, choosing to stay committed to his farm in Ocala, Florida a world away from the hectic stadium in the Bronx. From 2007 onward, George ceded most day-to-day -day control of the Yankees to Hal and Hank due to his failing health. It was looking like Hank Steinbrenner would take the throne of the Yankees. He was becoming fast a fan favorite, but it all came crashing down as Hank was very controversial and very outspoken. So with many bad headlines in the media, Hank Steinbrenner decided to lay low. Hank was not frequently seen around a team, and instead did most of his work from the Yankees' offices in Tampa. How already business savvy, owning properties, running hotels, was the perfect candidate to become the Yankees' majority owner. In all the controversies, turmoil, it seemed like this job, Hal originally not being the first choice of George, not even second, had the title of being Yankees owner fall right on his lap. Hal would officially come into power after the New Jersey Nets were sold. Yankee Nets became a LLC, known as Yankee Global Enterprises. The LLC owns the Yankees and the Yes Network, Hal Steinbrenner succeeded his father as control person of the New York Yankees in 2008.
And this is how one DUI changed the course of history. Not only for the Yankees and their fans, but for Hal Steinbrenner himself. If you ask many Yankees fans today, if it was for the better, most would disagree. But hey, what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.